Hi, how has your year started? Oh my god, I am so excited to be posting videos again and I hope your year also started magically like-minded which is fitting for the theme that I chose for my January bullet journal spread. I decided to go for a celestial bullet journal theme with moon, stars and leaves as little decorations around it. Let's continue our chat from the previous video that I posted where I was talking about how my year did not start as well as I wanted to. First two weeks went by and I didn't do anything and I was just procrastinating everything. Just continuing with my old habits from the past year that I've developed and then after two weeks I was just done with everything and just wanted to start anew. So now it has been a week of me being my best version of myself. I mean at least trying to be a better version of myself. I'm, I'm still not the best version of myself but I am trying so it's better than what I was in the start of this year. If you want to know how I battled with that battled oh my god like I'm a victim. <laughs> no if you want to know how I dealt with the whole situation of me starting my year badly and then switching it around go watch my previous video of my 2024 bullet journal setup. I just want to give you a little update. Now it has been a week of me waking up early, going to the gym and it has been a week of better habits that I've developed. So now it's second week of me trying to be a better version of myself and not spiraling back into my bad habits. So I feel so much better. I feel like I am finally just doing something with my life. Now I think it's the hardest part of continuing my healthy habits just because I have to stuck to it and keep showing up for myself. I think every time I want Want to change my life around or I get that spur of motivation and just want to stop every bad habit that I have and start like a new healthy lifestyle. I stick with it for a week and then I get bored of it and just stop doing everything and get back into my bad habits and stop taking care of myself and what I want to do and being productive, being creative. I just get into that block again. And in 2024 I promised myself that I will show up for myself and be consistent with it because I've always struggled with staying consistent and so I want to change that about my myself and be better because I think that is keeping me away from so many beautiful things that I could be experiencing but I don't just because I don't stay consistent and just stop being there for myself and showing up for myself which starts with small things I think and so yeah now it's the second week of me staying on my healthy habits and I feel my past self coming up and I can see how I started to actually come up with excuses so I can be a lazier version of myself and I don't want that so I am battling that right now. So now in the second week I think that motivational burst of energy has passed and now I think the discipline part of it comes in to replace the motivation and this is where I sucked in the past. So now I'm working through that and I still want to show up for myself and be disciplined and stay consistent even though I don't feel like it. Anyways, I don't know what I'm even talking about right now. I just went on a rant. This is my dog shark and it is scientifically proven that if you don't subscribe to this channel he will be mad at you. So you can't fight science, subscribe. <laughs> But yeah, hi, I'm Maya, I am a typical Virgo. I just love organizing bullet journals, tracking my life, because if, if I am not tracking my life, I go into that spiral and get into my bad habits. So this is one part of my life, bullet journaling, that is keeping me with sticking to my healthy habits. So for every month, I create my bullet journal spreads and share them with you here on my channel. So yeah, if you're into that, subscribe. Join this little positive community. Every person that I've met through this channel is just the most positive person. And yeah, if you're one of those people who is coming back to my channel and watching another one of my videos. Hi, I am so happy to see you again. I just love you. You know you're my bestie. So I hope you're comfortable and having your tea or coffee and let's just organize and plan together for this January. Even though January is almost over. <laughs> but yeah. Oh my god, I have to tell you this. I booked my second tattoo. I got a second tattoo. Last year in February I got my first tattoo and I didn't really like it, honestly. At first it was such a roller coaster. At first I loved it. Then I got into my car and I cried about it because I hated it. And then I sort of started loving it again and then I hated it. It was a roller coaster. I don't hate it anymore, but I just don't love it. So I'm kind of scared. I was kind of traumatized and didn't want to get another tattoo for a while. Now a year has passed. I want to have more tattoos on my body. I just love how tattoos give like character to a person. It's just such a cute accessory. <laughs> so I'm getting my second tattoo. I kind of wanted to share it with you, but now I am thinking it would be better as a surprise. So I'm not gonna tell you what it's gonna be. It's kind of basic, so you can probably guess 
practiced it in like three tries but I am loving the idea of it and I'm going to another tattoo artist and she tattooed one of my friends and I loved her work so I think this one is gonna be it my intuition is telling me this is gonna be it when I was getting my first tattoo my intuition was kind of battling with me but I wasn't listening to it so yeah now I am feeling in my gut that this is a good decision and I can't wait so I'm getting a second tattoo on 19th of February and I am so excited about it I just can't wait to show it to you and share it with you I hope it turns out as I want it I'm feeling very very good about that while we're talking about intuition I've been reading this book I'm reading this book for like the fifth time and this book is literally my bible <laughs> and now I'm in the chapter where the author is explaining about intuition I've been really wanted to get more in touch with my intuition I don't want to make wrong decisions anymore you know when you get that gut feeling that you're doing something that is not right for you and then you regret it that's your intuition telling you to stop and rethink your position but every time someone told me to listen to my intuition I did not know what the hell you're talking about I didn't know what they're talking about you know listen to your intuition what your body is telling you I don't know how to listen to my body I just didn't know I was just so disconnected with my body so now I've been researching a lot about that stuff and in this book the author is telling you that everything that is right for you basically your intuition is telling you what's right it just feels easy on the body it, for example what to eat in a restaurant when you decide to eat something to pick something from the menu if the decision is right the decision is easy but then if you want to pick something and it doesn't feel right the decision is kind of heavy on your gut so I've been kind of trying this technique with just random stuff that is happening in my life I'm treating it like a skill if you want to get better at a skill you have to just keep trying and exploring that has been so much helpful even the decision of deciding on where to go to book my next to do it was I was trying that technique on my body whether it was feeling light or heavy on my body and the second technique that I've seen on TikTok actually <laughs> on how to listen to your intuition is to just take a deep breath and then think of the question that you have in your mind or the decision that you have in your mind and then just answer it with the breath you know just saying uh-uh uh-huh or if you don't know the answer yet so anytime I have a decision to make in my life I try to just sit down take a deep breath and then decide uh-huh this feels light on my body or uh-uh this feels kind of heavy on my body so yeah <laughs> and yeah this has been working out great for me the topic of intuition is so interesting to me so if you have any book recommendations or if you listen to someone's I don't know podcast or any social media on intuition comment them down below I would really appreciate that I have so many videos filmed and want to post them so now I decided that I am gonna post one video per week so expect more videos like this coming I already filmed my reading journal my February bullet journal my moving video because in December we moved into a new apartment so expect those videos coming to my channel and I'm so excited about having a posting schedule a bit worried as well because I'm scared that I will not deliver but as I said in the beginning of this video I want to show up for myself and so yeah I am promising you one video per week and if you watched my previous video my 2024 bullet journal setup you know what to say in the comments if I stop showing up this is the deal with my besties you know this week i also created my vision board i have to show it to you i think it's so pretty <laughs> Ta-da! This is my vision board. Isn't it so cute? And every time I look at it, it's so motivating for me. Do you or have you created a vision board for yourself ever in your past? Or do you have a vision board right now that motivates you to do your work? I, as I've told you, I tend to give up on things. Oh my god, that is so bad. That's such a bad trait to have. But let's be real, I do give up on things and don't stay consistent. So one of the things that motivates me when I am feeling down and don't just don't want to do anything and just want to rot in bed is having a vision board. And every time I want to turn my life around I write out my goals and set up a vision board so I can look at it and be motivated and see what I'm working towards I tried just having it on my computer and my iPad but it's not working I, I never look at it so yeah I have to print it out and put it on my walls here at the table that I'm working at so it's just in my face and I can see it all the time so for January I kind of switched things up a little bit not too much but a little bit I tried two new pages in my bullet journal as you've seen the second page where I have the dates listed in a vertical line in the middle of the page which is just something new that I'm trying so I can't recommend it yet to you because I haven't tried it enough in my calendar I'm writing things out that are for sure going to happen but in that first page that I've described I want to set intentions and just doodle around what the vibes are gonna be for the weeks then on the other side of my calendar I have a content plan so I keep track of my YouTube planning and content planning separately from my calendar so it doesn't get lost in all of the planning that I have from the other other stuff that I'm doing in my life and have it just separately so I can be organized a little bit better. Other than that I've been using the same spreads that I've been using in my past bullet journals which is my habit tracker and my cleaning tracker and then my highlight reel at the end. You are still here? Thank you so 
much for watching my video. Comment down below this emoji so I know who's watching until this point of the video. I appreciate you so much. So this is it, my bullet journal spread for January this year. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!